<sighs> the rear is in. The rear is in. I'm Rick, and this. Shut the heck up, you stinking boosters. <laughs> this is the shack. Hey everybody and welcome. If you're new to the channel the first time stopping by, thank you so much for taking some of your time out to view. Always ask that you would consider subscribing if you do, or ring the ding ding that bell down there so you are notified when the videos do come out. In this video, we're going to go through finally getting this mounted in. Yes, yes! As you see right here, these little um, C clamps, that's actually what's holding it in right now. My U-bolts, these are the ones that came off the original truck with this rear end, are actually a little bit too long. So I'm going to get some spacers a little bit later, and I'm going to just put it on so at least it's bolted in on its own. I have the original hangers modified. Remember, I bought a brand new set. They did not have the geometry. The factories are angled a little bit. This one's straight. So unfortunately, $115 for some scrap metals. Ouch. Modified the original ones, widened them, look great, going through all that, got them mounted, shackles are in, all updated with grade 8 bolts, heavier duty, get me shorter U-bolts, and it's 100% done. But now at least it's in, so hopefully the next video, the next thing is to get this off so we can get in here easier and do some stuff. Without further ado, let's get to it. Since the hangers that I bought don't fit, the geometry's all messed up. Ooh, the sun's coming back up. We've been cloudy all day. And um, the only way I could keep the geometry with all the angles is with the factory hanger, but I needed it a quarter inch wider. This is my fabrication or my attempt. My friend's doing all the welding, Danny is. Remember the hanger we cut in half. So that's the width that I need on this one. This one I kind of messed up so it's a half inch gap. That's half inch stock. Uh, I tacked it all the way around as you see. Heat it, bend it, got it to the conform to the angles here. I'm gonna test it on the spring. There we go. Tighten this up. That's what it looks like. So see, he'll, I'm going to leave it just like this. He's going to come in and tack this around. Then I'll take it off. So I'm going to take this inside and leave it on here. And he can weld all this up. That looks nice. That's a good weld. I have gussets. I'm going to weld their triangle. It'll go about to here. All the way to the end here. Well, that on after I grind all this smooth I want to get these gussets in here and make sure this doesn't flex at all this is the factory hanger see we got it welded space spacer put in the inside I've grind all this smooth little low spots you can fill those in that's been ground that's been smoothed out so now what I'm gonna do take my little gusset we're going to set it in like that. And about right there. About like that. He's going to weld that and weld that. And on the back, I will take my cutter, cut all that off. Then he can weld the top here. And then he can weld all the bottom. This is in there to keep the width. So just in case with the heat, it may shrink and tighten it up. This will keep it wide enough so my... Uh, Leaf spring will fit in there. Now this cool down, you can see the gussets will it on here. So 
Now I gotta cut that off there. Basically, this is the end product, except I have grinding in here to do, but this is what it was. With it being like this, there's no way this was going to flex out, so that's why I had to cut it in half, add the metal in there, and then grind weld it, and I put these gussets in here, which are going to make it super, super strong. There's This, this is more heavy duty than original now, but it fits, and it keeps my geometry. I have to grind this all off, I'm going to get my uh, sandblaster, get some bag of sand, clean these all up real good, shoot some primer on it for now because I'm going to get some really good paint for the frame. I'm repainting the whole frame and I'll paint all this with it. But for now, I have to grind that.
Okay, well, it's in, kind of hanging there. So now I'm just going to tighten up either side little by little, get it up, line the uh, pin here, put it in the center hole, just get it snugged up. I'll snug up the bolts on my hangers. I just want to make sure it fits in there and it looks like it lines up. <sighs> what a pain. One person, this is a two people job here. All right, let me get tightening these up. It's in. <laughs> this is a this is a major check. I am happy. A couple little things to touch it up, and it'll be fine. I'm not a mechanic, but I can I can almost rebuild a 350. You know, I've messed around with my truck engines ever since high school. I've never done anything other than the engine work this I don't know the geometry and I'm finding it out sometimes at a cost of mistake but it is done that gun I used to sandblast the hanger I want to do the whole frame paint the frame but I have to mount the rear tank in here and I don't know if it's going to be under the cab or maybe in the back or maybe a split the two but I want to put my uh, trans cooler and my AC condenser under the frame or between the frame somewhere because I want to save that real estate from the front and the front because it's a bigger engine and I will eventually get the Banks air cooler uh, that's going to be pretty thick so I want to save as much real estate in the front as possible so those two I want to relocate to underneath the truck somewhere got to get this off so I can start doing all that but at least this is in and maybe somewhere between all this I can get my engine trans mounted and get the uh, uh, motor mount and training mount welded up and mounted those in so this can sit on the ground 100% on its own. All the stuff that I just kind of reorganize and reprioritize as it goes because what I think what I'm going to do now may change next time I start this. <laughs> anyway, this is it. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be blessed. Take back check. <sighs> for your sanity. Check. Yeah, yeah. See you next video.